hello YouTube so people continue to to speak garbage about me like I'm some sort of a troll and sitting in the Putin's dungeon and then I'm taking direct orders directly from the Kremlin and from Putin himself <laughs> like come on people oh excuse me Алло, я вас слушаю. Um, да, это я. Um, рассказать Тим про Северную Корею, да? Что Северная Корея на самом деле... А, ну да. Ну да, что они не правы. Ну, ну конечно, ну они все будут уважать ее. Вы же лидер альтернативных правых на Западе. Хиллари Клинтон про вас так сказала. Да, да, она права, конечно, да. Но они же не понимают, но она права. Да, слушай, товарищ Верховный Ладмановщий. Приступаю немедленно. North Korea. That country gets criticized by almost every side of political spectrum, but I'm going to focus on the far-right side, white nationalists, the alt-right and national socialists. They should be actually praising North Korea. Here are reasons why. It's perfectly homogenous. 99.998% of the population are ethnically Korean and the other 0.002% happen to be Chinese, Japanese, and Russian. It's probably the most ethnically homogenous nation on the planet, and Kim Jong-un doesn't want to import diversity from Africa and the Middle East. I'm sure it's the most cherished dream of any white nationalists and national socialists to live in a white version of North Korea, isn't it? Number two, it's not controlled by Jews. Yes, there are no Jews living in DPRK and no Jewish lobby in their government, unlike the US government and parliamentary system, which is infiltrated by the Zionist Israeli lobby. And you won't go to jail for the Holocaust denial in North Korea, that's true. Number three, censor censorship and Iron Curtain, which protect North Korea from modern Western degeneracy. The internet is also under a draconian censorship and you can't access any modern western pop culture artists such as Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, and um, the population has little or no exposure to foreign cultural influences apart from performances by song and dance groups and other entertainers brought in periodically for limited audiences. And uh, number four. DPRK is actually very traditionalist and nationalist, despite having a socialist ruling ideology. The government protects North Korean culture. And uh, they don't suffer from the guilt complex. They don't, they are not infected by the virus of political correctness. They protect traditional family values. Basically, I can say that the West, not just the far right, but the West has something to learn from North Korea and stop attacking it. Well, that's basically all of what I had to say about it. So yeah, this was Soviet Russian bear. До свидания.